Let me talk a little bit about some units here. Okay. The first unit you're going to encounter is uh, the idea of a, of a square meter. Okay. The units of area for physics are going to be square meters. And so, <laughs> speaking to you from my rectangular window, this is a square meter. It's a law. It's, it's 10,000 square centimeters. Okay. Uh, the English unit for pressure of areas is, is a, a square inch, right? as in pounds per square inch. This is much smaller. Okay. So when you think about a pound per square inch, this thing weighs about a pound. Okay. And all of this weight is going to be on that square inch. And it's, it's like smaller than the weight. Okay. That is a pound per square inch. If you can imagine, oops, it's stuck here. All of this weight on that little, little square, right? Okay. Whereas a Pascal, which is our unit, is, is this vanishingly small unit of pressure. It is, this weighs about a newton. It's 0 0.981 newtons approximately. Right? If you imagine this whole square meter right here, okay, this one newton of force spread out all over that entire area. It's, it's vanishingly small. That's why there's about 100,000 pascals in an atmosphere. But there's only about 15 pounds per square inch in the atmosphere. Okay? The second unit, so, so, so a square meter, big. <laughs> okay. The second unit that we're, that we're going to deal with is totally unreasonable. In, in chemistry, you dealt with uh, liters, which are very reasonable units of volume. You can imagine a liter, you can drink a liter of water. Okay. Um, the units for physics, the MKS units, the meters, kilograms, seconds units for physics for volume, okay, are cubic meters. Now, normally I do this with a bunch of students. I get I hand 12 meter sticks out and we, we make a cubic meter. But I can't do that today. So, so instead, I've marshaled 